Man, you already know who this is. It's your boy, Felix Supreme, 305, one half of the Crib Reaction Boys. And I'm sitting here with the GOAT, the great one, Mr. 48 Pythons. Not Thank you, you, Chico Grande, a.k.a. Papa O. You ain't got no pythons. I got the pythons. Don't make me bust out of here. You more like Apple The real, but, real um, good underscore Doty. That's the guy with the pythons. No, the main <laughs> host. He's talking about the main host. Chico Grande, a.k.a. Papa O. Block, a.k.a. The goat of all goats. But we got our special guest. Guest. Your boy, real good Doty. And you got us on to some scary videos. Yes. What you got us watching today, man? By Mr. Nightmare. Mr. Nightmare. Check out Mr. Nightmare's channel. Link in the description. And let me, and let, me let y'all know like how I came upon this. Like uh -huh. Mr. Nightmare, this dude I used to work with named Tacho. Um, when I used to work for this one pest control company, um, he was like, hey, you want to know what I'd be listening to? I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And then he just like put on like Mr. Nightmare and all these like supposed to be real scary stories. Well, well we got scary videos caught on ring cameras, volume three. And we're going to see what people are seeing on their ring cameras. Exactly. And this time we're going to try to slow down with the pauses. We might have to on the phone pauses. with 911, the homeowner oh, heard the door called to the side entrance door being fiddled with. Ooh. And this was a door that he had been known to leave unlocked accidentally from time to time. However, it's luckily on this his night, door. that wasn't the case. That means you are way too Since comfortable, the intruder bro. couldn't simply walk in. You can't be doing that at all. He started exactly. to say hello repeatedly through the door in an off-putting tone that sounded so overly friendly that it was creepy. The 911 operator told the homeowner not to open the door or to even acknowledge the person. Bro, lucky the person door. would then start to bang on the door for a few moments until seemingly giving up. The police showed up but couldn't help out much based on the video. Later that night, the homeowner received another notification that there was movement at his front door. He's coming he checked back. the video feed. He couldn't see anyone. He still has no idea who was under that mask. I would have came out. Yeah. Hit him with the bat. Listen. This following Shoot footage was also door. captured by a viewer's doorbell camera at their old house, which is still active while guy? he tries I don't to understand. sell it. One morning on. at around 4.30 like... a.m., his camera yeah, detected a man a. running from across the street from his neighbor's home, across his front yard, and up to his front door. The man was naked, with one of his hands blocking his privates. What? <laughs> Had a homeboy. Sounds like my co-host escaping. I'll be on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> the footage was caught from two angles. He was arrested a short while later by local police, and was apparently high on crystal meth. Oh. He had removed his clothing <laughs> due to a fear of snakes yeah. being inside of his clothes. And he snakes was being his clothes. <laughs> yep, it's definitely my co-host. No. <laughs> he dropped your teeth. He's, he's nothing but sprites, dude. It ain't a very fuck. He said, he said, yes. I got, I got, there's a snake in my boot. There's a snake in my boot. He went, Jesus. where are you from Toy Story? This guy, he can't handle his liquor. Nah, man, that's crazy. Nah, uh-uh. Like, he, he said he was running. He, the reason why he was covering his nuts, not because he didn't want anybody to see it, was because. No, I don't think that was why. What? I think he took his clothes off because he thought he had snakes he had, in it. He thought he had snakes in his pants. That's what it said. <laughs> I thought right, he didn't. No, there's a but snake he, in my boots. Yeah, I thought but, he was running. But, but he was covering his privates because he uh, obviously he didn't want to get bit. I thought you shoot. cover your privates because you're running through the woods. You want to get stuck by a twig. Well, that too. Yeah, you don't want to get caught in a twig and get yanked <laughs> by a twig. He was embarrassed Ooh. too. Probably. It's horrible. You know, run through the wrong thorn bush. <laughs> running around the neighborhood knocking on doors and ringing doorbells yelling for help. The neighborhood is reportedly pretty quiet. The homeowner never had any sort of See, issue If you would have done that in the hood, bro. In his words, he ran up my front yard onto my front porch and rang the doorbell. For the next minute or so, he was ringing the doorbell and knocking while pacing back and forth. He looked panicked and his expression drifted from someone in pain to a look of pure crazy and at one point said he needs help. After that, he ran off back into the night. The guy was picked up by an officer around 5 a.m., not far from his house. Oh, imagine that talk with your wife. Crystal, man. Why you always check who's at your door before you open it, especially if you have a doorbell camera. Hey, pause real quick, Evan. If someone who you don't know shows up to your door late at night. Bro, crazy story. Um, did did y'all see that IG thing? I think I sent it to you, but I posted it like maybe like a month ago. Um, when I was like working over there by um. The house with the bees? No, 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 no. I was working over there by um. It's over there by San Pedro, um, it's like Blanco or something. It's like by Rolando's. 
Uh-huh. And uh, there was some, like, tweaker, bro. Like, I was driving to my customer's house, and right on her street, like, at the beginning of the street where the stop sign is, I saw some lady, like, arguing, like, yelling. And I thought, like, okay, like, she's arguing with, like, one of the neighbors, mm-hmm. right, or something like that. And when I pull finally up to the stop sign, there's she no was one naked. There. It's a oh. girl, and she was just, like, going crazy, bro. Whoa. See? I'll show you all the video. Mm-hmm. Like, I recorded it on my phone. You got to be careful. It gets, it gets crazy Don't open it. Unfortunately, open in this it. video, that's exactly Stranger what this danger. did. Around 10 p.m. one night, a suspicious-looking hooded man approaches the front door of a random house rather quickly and aggressively, and he right away tries to open the door. After realizing it's locked, he goes to ring the doorbell. Disappointingly, the homeowner opens the door rather quickly instead wow. of checking who's at his door at this hour first. How would you do that? Probably throws at the wrong house. He looks wasted. He's drunk. Just asking to get hurt. Hello. Hi. How the heck are you, sir? Who are you? Everybody knows. How the heck are you? Good. You need to leave. How far? Just let him in your house. Out there. What should we stay from? What? What's the soul stairs here? Come on, where are you going? What's the stair? What's the what? Goodbye, you. Okay, so you should call the cops. The homeowner was likely too trusting a person, which put him in danger. Even his initial hi to the stranger at his door sounded overly friendly, considering the man was already creeping in the second the door was open. He pushed a wall. The homeowner pushes Hi. the man out, causing him to punch the glass of the door before it's even fully closed. The man then stands there for another minute or so, fiddling with the doorknob. Oh, a pop zone. Though the rest of the footage is cut off. The dialogue is near impossible to completely make out, but it seemed the man was under the influence of drugs or alcohol and was likely attempting to burglarize the home. The homeowner called the police, but the man was gone by the time they arrived. It's unknown if he was. What a weirdo. This is what you need. They, they should be able to find that dude, though. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. This image was posted from the owner of a ring camera and a Facebook group to caution others. That is creepy. The woman warned in her post to beware a strange man wearing a white mask lurking around the neighborhood after her camera caught him trying to look into. And this is all this year. After 10 p.m. one night. Yeah, 2022. The woman said, "Right after Valentine's Day." And safe. Please, if possible, not. share this post. Screenshots are welcome. Not sure what colors he was wearing but had a hoodie and jeans on. The disturbing picture shows the man in the mask looking directly into the camera. This is exactly the type of image that you'd never want or expect Bro, to that, see. Bro, that looks like the mask from the town, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also the kind of image that would make the sure as hell the of the opera. Yeah. 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 Neighbors of the woman also the reported seeing that the man during Halloween. Approach their front door. We gotta do one of these Thankfully, during Halloween, no one guys. opened the door to him. Oh yeah, Halloween. we gotta do some Halloween stuff. What? How they have commercials? Yeah, this is right why you need mood. to pay for <laughs> the ultimate YouTube. On May 1st, 2020, around 9.40 p.m., around the beginning of the COVID lockdown, a 45-year-old dad, Raymond Hawkins, opened the door to who he believed to be a delivery driver dropping off a parcel. Due to new methods of delivery at the time because of COVID, the alleged delivery driver backed away from the front door to supposedly keep his distance and claimed he needed to take a picture of the package at the doorstep, something many delivery drivers must do for more expensive packages. At this time, the father had his guard down due to the fact that he had no idea the man in front of him wasn't a delivery driver, and that he was in fact part of a gang that was about to storm into his house, all of whom armed with knives. They were screaming. That's crazy. Yo, you never open the door, man. You never open the door. Just never. Could be a zombie. Oh, worse. He got Larry. 
Not Larry. They're gonna get Larry. Christopher Sargent, the fake delivery driver, lunges at Raymond with a knife and attacks him when he goes to pick up the package, while three other masked men follow from behind. Muffled cries come from the house, as there's a struggle between Raymond, his wife, and the robbers. The robbers are only in the house for a few moments before being seen fleeing the house with thousands of dollars worth of items. Raymond and his son suffered non-life-threatening injuries, while his sons were described to be worse. Two of the culprits would be arrested, Anthony Laskelis and Christopher Sargent, who were both charged with aggravated burglary and possession of a knife. The other two culprits were never found. One thing that can be learned from a lot of these videos That's is crazy. that some people will go to crazy lengths to trick other people. Of course. The major red flag in this case was that the supposed delivery was taking place at 9.40 p.m., it's which too is late. way past the time any notable delivery company will deliver packages. Really, for real? Yeah. Usually yeah. the latest being 7 p.m. Yeah, I was going to say 7 is usually it. Uh, out of, out of. 10th, 2020. This was the footage taken by the ring doorbell of a viewer's friend Kayla in a small California town. Kayla was being stalked by her crazy former friend Thomas who became obsessed with her over time and would constantly express his alleged love for her despite her telling him numerous times that she didn't feel the same way. Jeez. The week that this footage was taken, Kayla was bombarded with texts and voicemails from Thomas. And as you can see if you care to pause the video and read some of the texts, it starts with what seems to be Kayla accepting his apology for his behavior. However, as the texts and voicemails just keep coming in, she begins to realize how crazy he may be. What you're about to hear are some audio clips from different voicemails he's left on her phone oh my God, after she had crazy. stopped answering him. Hey, Kayla. Uh, listen, I just, I want to make sure you're not too worried about what happened at the party last week. I had an amazing time, and I think, God, I think you're goddamn Sounds beautiful. Strong. And I, 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 I'm sorry I got so sick. I wanted to come be with you while you were getting ready. And I was just so totally out of it, and I'm sorry. God, I think I might love you, and I'm sorry. And I... You're my I'm queen now, the straight. tree always... I want to be there for you, and be there You're for you, and I can't get you out of my fucking head, and I want to be there for you. God damn it. So fucking god damn it. And all I can do is think of you and want to be with you, and I want to be with you. I want to be your Flynn Rider, and I want to be everything for you. God damn it, babe. This guy's attacking her amazing. sleep. You are amazing. You're my knight yeah. in shining armor. I'm so fucking terrified of you. And God, I love you so much. So I never suspected that from a guy that. like him. No, I lied. I'm not going to give you some space. I'm sorry. I'm coming over. I know you're up and thinking about me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm talking. God, I'm not sorry. God, I'm coming over. Fucking, I'm already driving. I'm driven driving the whole time. God damn it, what? god damn it, I'm coming over. Fucking, I'm not gonna give you space. I know you called me back. I thought it. Yep, I know you're up thinking about me. God, god, god damn it. What kind of creepo oh, stuff is this? Oh, god damn it. I'm coming over. One way this guy or another, likes to cuss. I'm coming over. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, whatever. He's drunk. Whatever. God, I'm coming over. I'll see ya. I'll be there in like <laughs> 10 minutes or whatever. I'm in whatever. I'm coming over right now. Damn it. Right now. I'll see ya. Bye. I love you. Rough road, oh, it's a rough road. Fuck you, Kayla. I, I am fucking crazy, god damn it. <laughs> Fuck you. I'll drive into the field. God damn it. Things like that, huh? Fuck you. Fuck you, Kayla. I am goddamn crazy. I'm crazy for you, god damn it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Wow, this crazy. is psycho. <laughs> it sounds like your intros. <laughs> intro, stop trying me. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll settle. I'll so settle. This is why you Anything need it. for you, my queen. Anything for you. Anything for you. I'll settle. I'm going slow. My phone is dying anyway. My phone is dying anyway. I'm still going to drive by your house in the middle of the night, though. Why? I dare you not to have your blinds open to check. I'm crazy. Maybe you'll never know if I did it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> right after one of his phone calls saying he's coming over, even though it was clear by this point she wanted nothing to do with him. He Eventually, over Kayla and her friend Ravon would find out that Thomas wasn't even his real name. His real name is Matthew, 
He'd been using the fake name Thomas Castle, which was a reference to the Marvel character, the Punisher. <laughs> Thomas was a reference to Thomas Love the King, Punisher, the second actor to play the Punisher, and Castle was a reference to Frank Castle, the Punisher's last name. The fact alone that he had been using a fake name with his friend and supposed love of his life was already a huge red flag. Yep. Maybe a sign that he was hiding something in his life. The ring footage was taken at two in the morning, and after leaving, he would go on to send some more texts, which would progressively get angrier. Four days after this footage was taken, Kayla and her friend went to the police and filed for a restraining order. He left her alone about a month or so after the restraining order was put into place. Kayla blocked his number and blocked him on social media, and reportedly he basically what? disappeared from the world, scary. and no one knows where he is now. What? That's, That's sick. Creepy. He was a demon. I mean, see, I, mean, I hope y'all out here saying safe. You know, don't open your door. I'm telling you, do not open your door. I don't care who you think it is. Yeah, and make sure you have a weapon. Of course. You but... ladies out there, like, be careful who you're friends with. Like, no, dude, well. one... Sorry to interrupt, but one time I was at a gas station late at night, uh -huh. and this girl came up to me, and she was like, I left my ID at home. Could you get me a pack of cars? And I was like... Yeah, I guess. And I was like, well, what are you? It was like three or four in the morning. Uh -huh. And I was like, what are you doing out here? I was like, you don't need to be walking up to strangers. Someone will kidnap you. Like, for real. You told her that? Yeah. Uh -huh. What happened after no, that? No, because I, 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 uh, I'm gonna not going to admit midnight. if I help what the person trying to, without an ID. Get was she started. trying to set you up? What are you trying to say, Gavin? No, what she wasn't trying you? to set me up. Oh, I'm over thinking it's just a setup story. Like, she tried to set you up. And you no, it was just a girl that uh, needed help. But that's what I told her. I was like, don't talk to strangers at 4 a.m. Dudes are weird. <laughs> that's Gavin, what it, that's, Gavin was one of those dudes. <laughs> No, I was giving her sound advice. I was yeah, like, I was like, yeah, it was like, if it's any other night, I was like, you talking to a normal person. I was like, well, you could be talking to someone crazy, especially at four or five in the morning. You never know who you're going to talk to at that time. I've had like crazy, I had this one time, like this one lady, like I remember I was over there by, I think I was back when I had braids. And uh, You had Meek Mill braids? <laughs> he didn't have the braids had, a lot. I had the man bun. No, but for real though, like it was like, probably like maybe like, Three, four in the afternoon and uh -huh. um, I was um I had just got done getting my hair braided and um this lady and her two kids approached me, but the lady was like, Hey, you think you could uh give me a ride home? And I was like, uh, no ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm good. Yeah, I, not give I no told her straight up like that, Jay. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, no, no ma'am. Kids are gonna <laughs> jump on you like a spider. No, no, monkey. because um, I forget, yeah, because um she had just uh yeah, 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 I forgot. I left something out. She had just told me that her uh, baby father, they had uh, just gotten an argument or something. She was setting you up just for a trap. Trying to set you up. Just yeah. like this video. Because if you I'm stayed with you. us for this long, we really appreciate you. Because we turned you, this bro. into a 17 minute video. Because I'm thinking about it, I was like, bro, like, first of all, like, where first, does this hold on, lady. Hold on, hold on. First of all, we need to wrap up this video because this is supposed to be a 10 minute video and it's already turned into so 18. Rude, man. I'm, I'm sorry, but our fans. We're not used to these types of videos. Yeah, you're right. you're but thanks for watching this video. We'll try to keep it shorter next time, but keep it scary. And we got more videos coming this Halloween. We might do a scary movie photo. This is kind of lit. I like this. And make sure you follow your boy real good underscore Doty on Instagram. Please. Follow your boy Felix Supreme 305. Five. Check and us out. And lastly, Shooter, aka Shooter McGavin. On Instagram. The one-legged bandit. The, the one-legged three -legged Chico bandit. Chico Grande. Tales from the Crib 210 on IG and Tales from the Crib on YouTube. We'll see you later. Thanks He's for watching real, Crib Reactions. He's a real shooter, McGavin.